Hello everyone, welcome back to the Road to Rank 1. Recording this game a little bit after that Cinder game that you guys would have seen just before. Today's matchup is Cassio versus Tristana in mid lane. So I picked Cassio in mid only as a counter. Actually, most of my Cassio games, if you go to my OPGG, are bot lane Cassio rather than mid lane. Um, and this game, so the reason I picked Cassio is I thought I was versus Swain. Now it's kind of lucky that I actually ended up versus Tristana because uh, Tristana is also a good matchup for Cassio. If I had been Cassio versus like a counter matchup, I probably would have dodged. Uh, I think that. You know, if you do pick into something and then it ends up getting flexed to another lane and it's a really unplayable matchup, then you probably just dodge. Like, if this was Casper's Cinder or something, yeah, I'd be out of here. Not gonna lie. I think that's uh, one of the most important things about dodging is try and dodge games that you think you're gonna be unable to carry. And obviously, a hard losing matchup is pretty hard. Uh, so, in this matchup, um, Tristana is actually favored until level three, but after that, that's pretty much it. At level one, the main thing to do is try to get her bone plating out. That way she can't all in you very easily at level 2. And just leave the wave kind of close to you. If you can keep it frozen outside the tower, that's pretty much perfect. Um, yeah, try not to let it crash because then it'll bounce back and eventually it'll be kind of hard for you. But if you can just keep it like right here, it's pretty much perfect. It's kind of in a position where Tristana can't actually like dump on you and kill you. Um, and I can even drag this onto the wave just to thin it out a little more. Although, maybe it's better to keep it off it. I'm not too, too sure, but really I just need to get to level 3. Without losing too much HP and without the wave ending up in a really scuffed position. And I think I'm basically guaranteed to get it here. Like, I don't think he can crush this wave in time. So it looks like we're going to be killing. I'll probably pop one potion nice and early just to make sure that I can't, like, randomly die. That's really the only loss condition in this lane. Like I said, Cassio is very, very good against Tristana. Just need to not randomly die. So yeah, she goes for the trade there. If she only gets one auto, it's absolutely fine. And I... Uh, Probably want to try proc the bone plating one more time. Okay, nice. Got there with a Q. So this will be good. I'm going to hit level 3. And then pretty much, like, as long as you have Q for when she jumps into you, you're always going to win the trade. It gets even easier at level 4 when you have your W as well. Um, so yeah, I just got to make sure I don't, like, miss my Q if I'm too far up in the lane. Like, if I miss it when I'm this close to my tower, it probably doesn't feel comfortable jumping on me. But if I do it, you know, very far on the lane, it can be kind of rough. So... Yeah, we should be fine. I think after this wave, we probably want to start looking to push out a little bit. So I'll probably let this one crash. I just want to thin it out a little bit so that it's not super hard to see us on the tower. I think as I say that, though, looks like it's going to be pretty hard to see us on the tower. I might end up getting most of it. Yeah. So the wave will reset to even now. She might look for a reset. If she does, I can just match. Okay, she's instead of going bot river. Ooh, okay, we're going for a fight. I'm going to pop my potion to make sure I'm as healthy as possible. Just might jump for me here. Okay. Let's just guy have... Last? Assume so. Okay, well, anyway, that's fine. Looks like we secured the crab for our jungler there. This guy does have bone plating, so he actually can beat me in a trade right now. So what I need to do is try to get this bone plating as soon as I can. There we go, and now just run. Also, how does Mundo solo kill Fiora? <laughs> I've never seen that before. Anyway, now I'm going to try force trades with her. If I can, I want her to bomb me, and then... But not let her actually proc the bomb. That's kind of the ideal. Nice, I got a Soraka kill there. And yeah, that's pretty good. So I do get pretty low on mana from that. And that might mean I have to base first. At the same time, looks like we have a pretty successful raid here. Oh my god, okay. That hook was a bit pathetic, not gonna lie. I think it was pathetic anyway. Oh, he's going for round two, <laughs> yo. I respect that. What the? Never before seen dressed on a flag. What the fuck? Okay, I don't have any mana. Also, I just missed my Q, so I don't actually do any damage. But I think he ends up dying. I got a bit of flash. Okay, I probably didn't need a flash. Okay, my flash was pretty bad. But like, dude, what did I just see? Anyway, ah, all good times in uh, solo queue. I think you need some drink glasses. Oh my god, what is going on? This game is not real. Okay, I'll reset. I'm going to grab probably all these. I don't think I can... Maybe if I TP'd... The wave still freezes. I guess it's fine. Just going to rush out my Seraphs here. It's a bit unfortunate. I didn't quite have enough gold for my uh, chapter there. But honestly, it doesn't really matter. Like, I'm so far ahead. I might just walk up to this guy. Okay, we get his bone plating. He's going to come up and try to get aggressive. I'm just going to W him. And I think he's dead. Yeah, he's dead as fuck. <laughs> honestly, maybe don't hook him. Oh, wait. I was going to say maybe don't hook him because he might go to safety. Looks like he's dead anyway. Yeah, so his lane's pretty cooked. I mean, yeah, to be honest, this game is just over, I think. Uh, but let's try and shove her. I guess the only win con they really have right now is this Fiora. And she did die, so like maybe she's not going to carry. But that's like what I'd be scared of, I guess, is if you're randomly 1v9ing this lane. But um, let's try and shove in. 
and then reset yeah i can get my chapter here i didn't manage to place my pink yet but it's fine so just reset i get my chapter and from this point on i mean it's gonna be free elo to be honest like all i need to do is just stand between her and her creeps and just fuck her up pretty much like i have such a big item advantage that there really is just no way she can win trades at this point so i mean that that feels good I'll cover the map here. She has one move to go somewhere. We'll see where it is. She might just try and hit my tower. I'm not sure. Let's see where she goes. Okay, it's looking bot side at the moment. The thing is, like, roaming bot side... I mean, I'll ping it that she is coming bot. In my opinion, this should never work because their bot lane has no gank set up and we have a fight. But I will ping. I mean, they might find a way to die this roam. Okay. I mean, like, it should be impossible, but I swear they're going to find a way. Let's come and ping this. There was a low chance Tristana could have been in that bush, but I was kind of thinking it was... If she jumped on me, I'd just kill her. And I think even with Jax, it would have been fine. Okay, so I'm going to try and make this guy walk around. I'm just going to come put myself here. What the? Oh, very lucky. Anyway, it's still good. we got a very good chunk on her there. And we're going to get a plate on her as well. She might try to stay. Yeah, I thought she would. So we can probably get more chunk on her, maybe. Okay, if he threads the needle, I was going to say. That would have been insane. But what we're going to do here is we're just going to keep pushing. It'll make it difficult for her to recall. And because it's a cannon wave, we can definitely get uh, plates here. I do want to get some vision down. But I think I'm going to use this wave to hit the plates. Because I'm not really scared of getting ganked right now. Like, I think they're too weak. Um, and I know Jax is bot side anyway. So even though I do want to get these trinkets down, I'm going to try to take advantage of the cannon wave to really do damage to the tower. Like, cannon waves are always the best times to come and hit the tower. Because you can get so many orders on it. I think now I'll quickly come and ward, probably like right here. Uh, and Trist, I think, should be resetting for real this time. I'm just going to, again, continue to fast shove. And eventually she's going to lose a wave, and I'm going to keep taking plates from her. So it should be all good. Okay, she decides to stay again. I think this is fine. After this plate, though, I'll probably keep the wave in the middle. Um, that way I can punish her a bit harder, because I think it's too difficult to get any more plates. Hey! Yeah, this one's not a cannon. Can I cancel one more? Don't think so. Well, she should be resetting. I mean, I think. Yeah, I guess I shove. Uh, to be honest, I want to try stay until I have my Seras. Um, normally, spam shoving waves in your opponent isn't the best, because they do get to collect waves. Okay, she, she decides to stay. So I'll try and delay this wave going in a little bit. Um, potentially, I can play for a dive. It's kind of annoying that she's been able to stay. But it's not like she's not losing anything. Okay, I get decent chunk there. Oh, sure, I actually forgot we had a Carpus. I could have kept going there. It was my bad. Wait, she's dead. <laughs> whatever bro <laughs> i don't know no, i'm on my main account by the way i have 900 lp right now rank eight just saying just saying i think this guy is actually an adc mate maybe that's good. anyway so that goes under tower i'll reset and i'll grab my uh grab my what's it called my seraphs my archangels and then i think next i'm probably going for leandri or rylai mm, both are pretty good well right now i don't need to choose anyway i'm just gonna buy the amp tome and see where we go i think I have a feeling Leandri's is actually better this game. Normally when I decide between Leandri or Riley, I decide like how important it is, I guess, to be able to like chase my opponents down and also how important it is to kite them. I think this game, I mean, because I'm ahead, I can fight literally anyone in melee range anyway, so I'm not worried about kiting them. And also like a lot of the champs have to come into us anyway. So I'm probably not going to be chasing them either. Yeah, I think the more I think about it, the more the Leandri's game. I could have maybe considered Oblivion Orb. There is a Trist here somewhere. I can't get to this in time. I have to shove mid. I could have maybe considered an Oblivion Orb, but, you know, Carpus already has it. And also, I think Anti-Heal is kind of fake news a lot of the time. <laughs> He's actually got one. That's impressive. Okay, well, we'll take another plate for that. I mean, that's the best we can do. Like, she is still losing quite a lot for it. And after this wave, I think I ward topside just to protect this uh, second round of Void Grubs. Wings mid. I can't ward this. If Swain walks through here, I'll probably kill him. Or if he walks up on mid, I'll probably kill him too. I'm just going to show here, which might make him lean down to fight. Okay, he's being pretty respectful. I'm trying to get him to walk down, but I think he's actually just too scared. Okay, maybe we can look here. Try to get rid of the creeps for him. All right, no. Nothing there. Um, can I go bot? Doesn't look like it. I was looking for an opportunity to run bot. Top looks ungankable too. The only thing really to do right now is hit tower. Like, normally hitting tower is kind of the least impactful thing you can do. But there's like no camps for me to farm yet. I'm a bit too weak. I can't roam top. I can't roam bot. I've already placed all my vision. I don't need a base. So the only thing I can do is hit tower. Which, yeah, again, it's not awful. Duck, are you cut or uncut? 
Like, what did I say to that? Um... <laughs> I'll just, yeah. An enemy has been slain. I'll just give him a yes. I <laughs> just, dude. You give uncut vibes, I just need to confirm. Bro. <laughs> oh my god, just another day in Oceanic Solo Queue. I'm just gonna, yeah. That's fine. Maybe I'll answer it in an AMA one day. I'll do an AMA at 50k subs or something and I'll answer that question. Okay, I should be able to take this tower, pretty sure. Just gonna walk forward here and try to get it. Nice. Yeah, okay, that's first tower gold. This guy's gonna try to look for me, Miz. I don't think he can do anything though. I'll probably shove this wave and then look to reset. I do have quite a bit of gold. Um, I also want to try reset without TPing here because um, I want to be able to base TP immediately when I get Leandries probably. Or maybe even save my TP for side lane. I'm not sure yet because side laning, I mean, normally it doesn't start this early, but because bot lane, I guess just they gave up on bot or something. I don't, I don't really know what happened there. Um, I'm just laning against their mid, so or against their bot lane. It might be worth swapping. I mean, I guess... Uh, I mean, I guess this is fine. Like, Carthus is just free farming bot, so it's like kind of whatever. I'll just keep shoving mid. I think after this wave, I probably go bot river. In fact, I might go bot river now. Can I do one wave? It's it's better if I can push this wave. Mm, but I feel like the fight is gonna start before I'm ready. Okay, actually, they're not ready. Take silence as admission. Uh, no. I'm coming to this. I did manage to shove the mid wave first, so they will have to deal with that eventually. Yep, Swain's mid. So the, the nice thing of pushing mid is it forces someone to respond, and then you should be able to take a fight with a numbers advantage. The scary thing is, like, if the fight starts when they haven't shown yet, um, this guy might jump in. I'm just going to do this. Okay, no. I was just going to do that in case he did jump in. At least he wouldn't be able to get out. But that's fine. Okay, 850 gold on this. That should be easy enough to farm. Yeah, it should be easy enough to farm. I think, again, I just keep placing my wards here. If I can, I do want to kind of impact this Fiora lane. I think Fiora is the only possible win condition they could have. Like, if... She, what the, how was Trist even there? Okay, yeah, that's pretty scary. Like, they do get a shutdown onto the Fiora. Oh, and I missed the cannon. FF. I don't know how Trist was there. Like, she must have TP'd or something. Somehow. Anyway, in the meantime, I think I'll take the Scuttle Crab. There's nothing else really for me to do, and I do want to farm my Leandri's gold. I think they killed Fiora. Do I need to go to that? Hey. Nope, she got sliced up. Okay, Jax is here. I have item in 200 gold. See, I'm around if she walks in. I get the W on her. I think she's dead. Yeah, nice. Really good pick. Dude, 140 gold. Okay. That's not worth much. Uh, we'll shove this in, and then we will probably just base for Leandries. I might do one more wave. Are they winners? I mean, they must. Right? I'll do one more wave. It's important if you can. Like, obviously, if you can't, then don't. But if you can, try and make sure waves always go under tower, whether that's side lane or mid lane or whatever. Just because if the wave does go all the way under the tower, like, one, they lose some creeps under tower, and two, the wave will bounce back to you. So it's easier to, for you to collect without losing anything. Is this guy really... What the... Wait, and he dodged it. Wait, he's a fucking genius. I'm just, I'm just dead. Okay, this guy's the best player in the world. I actually can't believe he's alpha enough to do that. Oh my god. Wow, holy fuck. That's incredible. I'm actually, I'm amazed. That guy, best just time I've ever seen. Okay, well, a very bad death, to be honest. Like, it gives, again, like, their one chance at winning this game a huge shutdown. Hopefully it doesn't matter. Like, hopefully Fiora can't carry, but it's possible. Like, Fiora in solo queue is a very, very disgusting champ. And maybe it's possible. I mean, that one mistake, which is pretty recall, did cost me quite a lot. Feel bad for Mundo, because she he did solo kill the Fiora, but now she has two kills out of nowhere, and they were both shutdowns, which feels pretty bad. I think I do have to TP mid, unfortunately. So, yeah, <laughs> pretty bad death, honestly. It makes me lose my TP, and, yeah, makes this Fiora very strong. I don't think it'll matter, but, it, like, it might matter. Okay, now this seems like griefing, I think. My god, how broken is Soraka? She did almost die, but not quite. Yeah, that was pretty troll, though, I think. Oh, does Pike have ult? No, he doesn't. Wait, that guy's just dead, though. Okay, nice. Headshot him. Okay, not bad. Uh, I'll probably stay for one more wave. I don't think there's really any threat to me. If that just does it again, I will definitely kill him. I, honestly, like, I'm so embarrassed that he killed me the one time. Wow, ah, you're actually got away with that too. Okay, well, you're being strong is scary. 
It is scary, especially if she starts getting a lot of side lane towers. I think I go... Do I go Rylight? I think I do. Yeah, Rylight seems good. I'll start running top. I don't know if I can kill this guy. I don't need to be mid yet anyway. I don't think this guy is ult, so actually she probably just dies. He looks pretty dead to me. Yep, okay, nice. I'll just walk mid then. There's nothing for me to do top, so I'll just walk mid. Oh, he surrendered. Well, thank God for that. Um, I think that Fiora probably voted no. She probably felt like we could carry, or she could carry. But anyway, nice quick game. Honestly, I can't really say it was clean, because my one death was pretty end. But, oh well, whatever. Fun game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And a quick look at our post game. We only get 17 points, which is kind of rough, but it did feel like a low elo game, to be honest. And uh, yeah, we walk away with one honor. I mean, we take those. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you had some fun watching that game. It was kind of interesting. Uh, if you did like it, go ahead and like and subscribe. See you guys in the next one.